If you've seen this video or this video, then you know that I've recently started taking the Sabbath a lot more seriously. In this video, we're gonna be breaking down my actual Sabbath day. Come spend the date with me. Morning, good morning, good morning, and good morning. Today, we're gonna be spending the Sabbath together. Um, I'm up now. Usually, I like to take my time getting out of bed, so, and waking up. So I might be getting up around 10.30, 10, 11. It honestly depends on what time I go to bed, but I don't ever like rush myself to wake up. I get up when my body wants to get up. And yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing. Okay, so the first thing that I'll do is go get my Bible and get my notepad and my highlighters and pens and really just go in and spend time with the Lord. I typically will do this for probably one to two hours. It just depends on what time I wake up, but I really like to do it because I get to take my time. I really get to digest everything and really pray, meditate, and honestly take the word in for what it is. There is a playlist that I like to listen to and I will put it on the screen right here, but it's really great. It's such a great playlist. Definitely recommend to listen to it while you're reading. Then depending on what we've read, we like to look up videos on it and to see further teachings on it. So we'll take some time on YouTube, maybe one to two hours and look at that. We are going to the park right now. If it's nice weather outside, we do like to go walk, spend some time outdoors and just kind of spend time with each other, talk about the Lord, pray together as well. So. That's what we're gonna go do. And then we're gonna get some food and come back home. But typically on the Sabbath, like if the weather's not good or if it's like kind of cold or too rainy, the moon is still out, you see that? I see that, I just saw um, If it's cold or too rainy, then we'll just stay inside all day to be honest. And usually on Friday, we'll just get all of the food that we need for, um, for Saturday but sometimes we do like to go get food, you know? So we got Luna in the back seat. Say hi, Luna. Say hey, Lulu. Say hey, Aspen. <laughs> Let's talk about this real quick because if you are single, it might look a little bit different if you are one of those people that don't like to be at home all day by yourself. I'm that type of person, but I do know that, I guess there's probably, there was probably a point in my life where I didn't want to, and I like, like to hang out with my girlfriends a lot. So if you are, definitely dedicate a good amount of your day at home with yourself in the word. Um, you can also invite a friend over to spend the Sabbath with you so you guys can kind of do everything together. Or once you have your time alone, you can go out and grab lunch with a friend, but I would just make sure that it's actually a friend that you can have deep conversations with and you can talk to the Lord about because it's kind of, they just need to be a friend that you can be around. They need to be a friend that will respect and honor the Lord with you and also understand that you can't listen to certain music, um, that you, certain language can't be used because all that stuff really matters, especially when you're dedicating the entirety to the Lord. So it just needs to be, folk wow, this is very bumpy. It needs to be focused on the Lord. So you just can't hang out with anyone, make sure that they are a like-minded person and that they respect um, what you're doing and they are thrilled to be a part of celebrating the Sabbath. And we finally arrived to the park. So this is really fun because we get to get some exercise, get some sun, spend time in nature and talk about what we've read in the morning time. Just really share that while we walk. Oh my gosh, I know y'all saw that book. I know that y'all saw that book. So anyways, Aspen has music playing right now. So we like to listen to music on our trail and just enjoy what God created. Sometimes we'll cook food at home and sometimes we'll go get food to go, but it just depends on what Friday looks like. So today we're going to Sweet Green, which is one of my favorite, I guess, salad restaurants, but it's super healthy 
and I personally prefer this over upbeat if you're from the Atlanta area because I just feel like their ingredients are a little bit more healthier and not overcooked. Take it back home and just eat and probably watch some more YouTube. Also, this drink is so good. It's a cherry limeade flavor and I would highly recommend. All right, so during this time after I've eaten I've had food in my stomach. Um, I'll usually take a nap. So I'm gonna go take a nap, wake up when I wake up and just chill. At this point, it's probably like six or 7 p.m. and we're just winding down and honestly just relaxing. We do like watching movies, so that's typically what we'll do or we'll go to prayer night at church. It honestly just depends on what the Lord is telling us to do. And then we try to be in the bed around 9 p.m. or 9.30 p.m. just to make sure we have a really nice relaxing wind down period. And that wraps up our Sabbath video. I hope you guys enjoy this video and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.